Dude, we always open the pity chest. After we throw those games away, we've just got to. <clears throat> We pull this deck list up here while we're waiting for this match to pop. Yeah, we definitely should have just locked our opponent there, and then we would have been all set. Oh man, this is going to be the third 2-2 player we've played in this, uh, in this event since we've been streaming today. Well, this is just a ham sandwich. So we can kind of get away having two battle rages if we get two Liliana because like they're not very good on their own. So I think I'm going to keep this hand. I would understand this hand not being great, but at least we have two crap resources to get rid of our Liliana with. And we have a discard spell into, like, a removal spell. So, huh. So I guess I might as well take one cost reducer because I can get the other cost reducer and the hand is so redundant that it doesn't really matter. Hit a Seer Vision. It's a pretty good draw. <clears throat> There's a Spire Love Canal. That's what they do. They went top, top. So, like, we're in trouble. You know what would have been sweet there? Tarmogoyf. But at least we're going to be able to play Liliana. So, we're going to be able to, like, eat this thing. Or, you know, whatever. If our opponent plays the Electromancer. Oh, okay, they didn't do it. I guess that kind of makes sense. But what do they keep on top if it's not a land? It's got to be like... I'll check it out, because we can see one of the cards they kept on top now. It's probably a Gifts. Another Electromancer. Okay. So let's play our own homeboy. And hopefully we draw like... Let's draw like a stub or something like that, or have our opponent play their Electromancer. Tarmogoy's not bad. Oh, it plays an Electromancer. Okay. So I think instead of playing Tarmogoyf, I'm going to play Liliana and tick up and discard. I think there's just a very, you know, we need to, like, start putting pressure on our opponent's hand. They do get to discard, like, this Past and Flames, but they are just kind of turning their wheels. And if they haven't been playing lands, they're not going to be able to do anything unless they top deck a land, and we can't fight that anyways with the, like, makeup of our hand. Okay, opponent is a romance. We know their exact hand. So as long as our opponent doesn't find... I guess they can go, like, ritual into... Yeah, I guess they could have gotten us there. Four... It would be a mighty feat for us to get our opponent here, but I think we're going to try for it. Because if we draw, if we go Street Wraith, 6, 8, 16, we can't even get him. We have to go like Street Wraith into Street Wraith. I guess we're going to just still go for a Street Wraith to like see if we find some form of interaction. Okay. 
That's not bad. After this match, I don't have any cash to cube with, my friend. We don't have any moto. We don't have any moto points to cube with. We can't be doing that. Okay, so now we're going to go up on this and ditch our Tarmogoyf. Opponent dishes of Fast and Flames. Okay, slide of hands good for the home team. You two vote cube. We will see. We're definitely going to finish this league out. We're going to be streaming for a while tonight. Dude, we're playing all... You missed our Death Shadow League. We played Grixis beforehand. Now we're playing Jun. We might play Esper. We might play, like, the Tribal Flame Shadow deck. But it's Wicked Dead, I think. All right, 612. Let's see what they discard. Discard a Mana Force. And Death Shadow is just bringing, he's riding his Teamer Battle Rage Slay, and he is, like, just coming in hot, like, with all kinds of Christmas joy. Like, if Teamer Battle Rage isn't Christmas joy, then I don't know what is. Bring this in, bring this in. We like to cut our removal and one rage. Like, I bet my opponent, Pillow Pallet for life, 10 out of 10, do Esper, that'd be late AF. Thank you very much. There we go, filling up that tip jar, what a guy. The gift deck is Christmas themed. God, some of your bits missed my missed my cut, Nathan. What a terrible delivering mechanism that is. Let me see. Let me get. Let me bring this over here so that I can at least start looking at this Esper Shadow deck before I. Oh, Moto's tweaking out. You got your emote in, Squad Chief. Way to go, Moto's just like. Oh, it's not losing its mind. Let me get this over here so I can at least start to put together this Esper Shadow deck. What is my, what is going on? Moto is just losing its mind. It is no longer moves, losing its mind. Uh, this hand here is good. We will keep this. We have a discard spell to hit one of their, whatever dudes are, if we have to. Holiday Cheer 1000. You have gifts for three others. Hit 30 viewers last night with no cam. Garbage mic was horrible doing it with one monitor, but got it done. Yeah. Doing it with one monitor is pretty annoying. That's what they do. They just played that tapped. Wow, dude. We got GC Shadow Man with 
I think we're gonna have to play some cube if that's what is going on there. Tarmog wife. We do want a Tarmog wife. So this gets Overgrown Tomb, this gets Blood Crypt, we can cast Staticaster. Alright, so we're going to take Pieces. Because that's the most annoying card to play. That's pretty cool, playing the Rabble Master. I bet Hazret would be sweet in that deck. That was a really good draw. I think you guys, you guys are on a different wavelength. So I think I'm actually going to just... I'm going to fetch my Blood Crypt now. And then I'm going to just Thought Seize my opponent and hold up Stubborn Denial. Uh, I think I'm just going to take this Grape Shot. I don't really want to get burnt out, and there's no way they're going to resolve this Gifts. So. Cube's like, you either love Cube or you hate Cube. One of the two. There's just nothing in between. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big Hazard fan. Like I, w I was streaming, uh, I was streaming like OG Jund a little while ago. I should got a breeding pool. That was wrong. And like my deck felt like garbage, except for uh, I guess I should be mana efficient. Well, what gets bigger? Death Shadow gets bigger easier. Yeah, I guess we'll just we'll play the death shadow cuz we might find interaction we might find a way like we could get some one mana interaction we have abrupt decay in our deck but we tapped our green land so you know that's just some serious malarkey there who i almost yielded out of that let's stub this <coughs> that seems like a really aggressive stubborn denial in the face of a fairly aggressive gifts I'm given in the face of stubborn denial. Yeah, dude, I like I like playing OG Jund. It's just like not very good. Oh man, that's rude. My opponent just got a metamorphose. Ooh, baby. I think we're going to just play both of these out. The big thing, though, is, like, if we start cubing, I could lose, like, my viewers. Because, like, you know, out of everybody else that's cubing, am I the most, like, you know, am I the one that tickles your fancy? God, the hits just keep on coming. So five, eight, eight, 11. I guess we just play this guy out because it's lethal. And it's not like we're really worried about, it kind of prevents like, we're not worried about uh, whatever it is, empty the Warrens. Well, that's because what cube is closer to constructed, right? All right, there's one spell. Just like get a little mini value empty here. Try to keep yourself alive. Yeah. Okay, Metamorphose, they are digging. Oh, I'm gonna grab a beer. Because we're merry. I guess, like, having Caleb not streaming Cube is good.
Like, Jamie Topples is streaming Cube, and she's going to, like, she's, uh, Metamorphos, she's going to get, like, a lot of the casual viewers. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Bolt of Shadow, okay. Do not die. Lightning Bolt of Death Shadow. There's no justice. In fact, I'm just gonna hold on to this. I don't think there's any need to play it. All these are garbage. I've definitely figured out how to play against Storm playing this deck. It took me a second, but I definitely have a much better understanding now. We'll grab beer only if I'm sticking. will probably increase our chances of cubing. There's definitely like a legitimate chance that that could happen. I was so glad I only had to work four hours today. Like, oh, stroll rolled up in there around like 10 o'clock, was out at two, streaming by four. Like life is just, I don't see how it gets any better. Thirst for knowledge, no lands. Oh, uh, this hand. I don't really like hands like this because if we do miss, I really dislike four landers, but like these are really good three cards. Like where, it's where our hand's pretty explosive with three quarters of the way to Delirium and our Liliana's online. This is usually kind of against my religion, but I, I do it sometimes. <laughs> God, just play. Oh, they're playing. What the? F oh, okay. All right. They're they're gonna they they have a mox opal. Okay. All right. <coughs> thirst and cube is thirst and power cube is the stones. So I got so I got so uh, I was cubing this morning and so pack pack one pick two. I see pack one, pick three. I see a Kiki Jiki. Okay. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> what does TFW mean? But I see this. It checks my Liliana. Okay. There's the Opal. So we are playing. <clears throat> I just sick would it be if I just like found a way to bust this up. The face win. It's a good draw. So let's go get Blood Crypt because we're online besides that. Cycle this guy. We have Traverse online as well. Where were Pixis Codex Shredder? The Force wins. <laughs> Yo, everybody in the chat, have, have have we seen have we seen Star Wars? Can we talk Star Wars, or is this not is that not PC? I think I'm gonna take I either want to take Pixis or Codex Shredder because I might be able to like my opponent's a long ways off this war, so I think I'm gonna take Pixis.
Okay, no war. The no war, no Star Wars chat. Arc Mage hasn't seen it. <clears throat> I had to like unaggro Nightbot. Player Shredder. So I actually added a Kataki for my sideboard because I actually think that this deck is good against my deck. That's why I wanted to ask, like, like it's been out for it's been out for what over a week now. I want to know when it's good. <laughs> I don't understand why why does everybody frown from caps? They ripped a lantern. What a god. Like what an actual god. So I wanna draw that. So Tarmogoy's five six. We can we still can't make our death shadow. We can make our death shadow a six six next turn, so I guess like the actual right play is to traverse for a death shadow. And we have one more green source. <clears throat> I mean, if you got some hot takes, I'll hear them. But like, I, I ain't interested in talking about a movie that's 14 years old. I still think that the best Lord of the Rings movie was the first one. The Fellowship. But I tend to be biased towards okay that's a good that's a good one to have i tend to be biased towards like the first one you know like i like i like seeing the first um we have a decay they, they have a decay god damn it but they can't cast it i like seeing the like the origin stories are always my favorite the second was good So double codex shredder. The last two cards are were. Ooh. Let me have that Liliana. Oh, swamp. And second. I like I just like origin stories, so I think I want to keep that. So we're going to go here. It's just going to make my opponent use their lantern on me, not themselves. Or use their, I guess, their mill rocks. My opponent takes five. And then... I assume they mill us. So if we hit a Street Wraith or a Thoughtseize, we can kill them next turn. Or they somehow do damage themselves, which I don't think their deck plays Spire of Industry. Yeah, I just, I like, my favorite Batman was the first one. Um, my favorite, like, all my favorite superhero movies are the first ones. You gotta mill that, right, dude? Like, we can't be having this. <laughs> Excuse me. My first, my favorite Iron Man was the first one. I like the first Jurassic Park the best. I'm just a big fan. I'm always a big fan of the originals. No way, you can't draw this card, dude. He drew it. It just kills you, right? I mean, they can't whir for... I guess Mox Opal. Okay, I'm, I'm stupid. I had a moment. I had a moment. So now they mill me, get rid of Team of Battle Rage. I drew another Rage. I've always got abrupt decay, were were. You know what the most annoying part about playing Lantern is, besides the fact that it's Lantern, or that you have to keep all these zones reviewed, revealed.
I'm the first child, so like, pros attempting to storm off with a mediocre star next reminds me of modern. Except that deck's not mediocre. All right, dude. You got my death shadow. You got to mill me. You can't mill yourself. If my opponent targets me, I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle because I would like to. Like I could just randomly draw this team or battle rage, and I I would like to draw that. Oh no, I clicked I clicked through it. So the Pixis doesn't do anything for my opponent, I don't think. <clears throat> they kept... They kept, um, that, that's going to let them, oh man, now we're in trouble. Because that's going to let them whir next turn. That land on top there. So I guess I need to shuffle. Because I can, I guess I can hit. Because I can keep this, I think I'm just like dead because of these. I need to hit like three good cards in a row. I need to hit like Stub, Stub, Abrupt Decay. That's not too terrible, but still now I need to hit like Abrupt Decay. God, playing against Lantern is infuriating. Dismiss. We'll get in there. Opponent's got to keep their card on top, so they'll mill me, which we'll let them do. We'll let them mill the Grim Flare. Though they might not mill me. I just can't wait to traverse for a Tabernacle. In the two sideboarding games. Like how insane. It was a bold move, Cotton. They're gonna give me they're gonna give me a look at it. I only guess they only give me one look. Okay, so we shuffle. Oh, the the injustice. I mean, we'll, we'll call it it's we'll call it tabernacle for permanence. So now we're dead because I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play this game if they have three mil rocks. With three mil rocks, we are the sleeper hold is on. I think that bit donation, Farby, actually puts me um, able to get my first. Um, so we want the Kentucky, we want this, we want the Grudge, we want the Pulse, we want the White Land, we discard this land, we get rid of all our removal. Yeah. Like nobody likes Lantern. And we're good here. I just can't wait to Kentucky somebody. I think that, that your bit thing actually makes me eligible for my first check from Twitch, Barbie. Let's take a look here. Oh, close does. It close, but not quite. 
I think every reasonable person hates Lit Lantern. I don't think there's anybody, maybe besides like Canister, that actually plays Lantern and likes it. Like there are people that play Lantern because it's actually a good deck and War has made it. Like if it's not a tier one deck, it's close. Do you like, but you don't like, you like the idea of Lantern, Squatchy, but I don't think you like playing Lantern. I also, I get all kinds of tweets about uh, Death Shadow and comments on my YouTubes about Death Shadow. I might add, like, a segment into my channel that talks about, like, what Death Shadow deck I'm on right now, what Death Shadow decks are right for you, and just go through all of them. That might be my next goal here. I'm getting another computer screen. I'm using my one from work now. I just stole it and brought it home. Think it's tier one? You like playing it? Okay. If you could just, uh, if you could unsubscribe from my channel, please, that would be great. Oh, we just, we took out an Inquisition? Why did we take out an Inquisition? We never take out an Inquisition. No! Damn it! How did that get clicked out? My fat fingers. Um. So. I'm halfway to Delirium. We have a big Death Shadow. And we have a Stubborn Denial, which is good. Squat Chief knows I'm kidding. But he could know that I'm not kidding also. Um, I want to just keep this hand. <laughs> somebody somebody gave you a gift. Somebody gifted you a sub, right? You know, somebody gift you a, gifted you a sub. I'm really tempted to keep this because we have so much, like, library manipulation. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this because we're halfway to Delirium. This We'll stub anything to get closer to Delirium. And, like, Death Shadow's Death Shadow. Because if we can traverse for Tabernacle, like, it's pretty much over. Death Shadow. We'll keep that. I didn't play my other one like a moron. It's all right. Now I'm going to let this go. Because we have two Death Shadows. We have a plan here. We don't need to like really do anything else. We can force spike whatever the dumb card is. There's... I feel special. I actually had my first subscription yesterday. Subscribe to one of my friend's channels that subscribes to, um, that sub to me. He's like a small guy trying to get it going here. He popped in while he was streaming and signed in and then got out of there. All right. I hate how this Pixis messes with us. I'm going to keep that on top and I don't, really mind if my opponent shuffles it. Okay, I guess I'll fetch. <coughs> my opponent definitely should have milled me. If they had the read. Codex Shredder, okay. So we're pretty much just stubbing words in lanterns and in bridges at this point. Hey, man. It doesn't take a lot to make me feel special. I think I'm just going to stub this. I still yet to pop my cherry. One day it will happen. If, I, if I'm if i your default cherry popper, I'm cool with it. Like if you accidentally popped your cherry with me, then like, you know, you'll take, we'll take it how we can get it. So I'm going to get Overgrown Tomb. Untap. We'll play two Death Shadows, not three. We'll hold that land and not show our opponent Kataki. Um. 
I'll take... I'll take these things that are going to be clipped and taken out of context for 500. <laughs> so side note, opponent's on like a very, sh a very quick clock. <laughs> that's, you know, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. I appreciate that. You have one in mind. Well, I hope that she appreciates you. All right. Should I stub this? Real talk? No. My opponent can just like... So if they take Death Shadow... That makes sense, Sedan, 1991. I was just like figured that hiding it was worth it instead of the low percentage play of it getting milled. Ancient stirring. You got it. We can have six now. Excuse me. All right. Lanterns. Lanterns big game. And they have an ensnaring bridge on top, and we have a fetch land on top. It is a great day to be alive. And now we just, like, don't have outs. Because, like, they have three mill rocks. And one of them is a Pixis, so, like, Grudge doesn't even do it. We just have some serious sadness going on in the stack here. Freaking Lantern makes me drink. Ley line of sanctity. Well, there's our Kataki, which doesn't even really matter at this point because he just pays for these three every turn. I guess he loses out on like one, but. This could have all been like because I kept a, you know, a sketchy hand. They definitely don't have lantern and cube, which is which is something that makes cube more enticing. Exiles the top card of their library face down. I gotta at least finish my league. Well, wow, joke's on you. You hit a swamp. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's another thing, Mifflin. Yep, you're right. Welding jar's bad. It's called Crucible Strip Mine. Okay, so they had another lantern, which another uh, bridge makes feel good. I think I'm just about done with this game here like for the for the respect of the world i think in the respect of the stream here we are we are done with this game i would not mind doing a little doing a little crucible strip mine action i drafted a deck this morning let me see if i can find it it's kind of sweet What is going on? Oh, my moto just died. Moto's like I tap. Okay. 
Come on, Moto, you can do it. You can do it. Hmm. Broke MTGO with a scroll rack. I don't even understand how scroll rack works. Like, you just exile half your hand and then it comes back. This is where, like, if I really had it going on, I would show you guys my sponsorship page, which I'm still still working on. My wife being the fantastic... Yeah, I appreciate your honesty, Squad Chief. I'm putting a bragger that had already been cast that game on the stack, then crashing, restarting the entire round. Neither player being able to draw a card to see the permanents they put in play. That's how Magic was meant to be. Come on. Come on, Moto, you can do it. Chugga 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 moto. I guess now is a halfway time to uh, do the plug again. My name is uh, Dylan Hovey and I am a card hoarder associated streamer. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. And if you don't, that's fine. You guys being here is enough. Um if you want to, if you miss part of the stream, want to catch it, you can look at my uh, YouTube channel below. And if you need any Magic Online singles, check out Card Hoarder, because they are the best bot chain, <laughs> and they just wouldn't let you. So let me see if I can find this. Let me move this window over here. That dual screen action collection. See if I can find this free form binder here. Oh, we got paired. Nice. I would like to play first. So I think I'm going to keep this hand because we have, like, Traverse if we need a second land, and the Bobbles can help us out to find, like, to, like, work through our top card a little bit. No, I don't see it. I should also get that that bit that bit donator thing down on my stream as well. The one that says like who's donated the most bits. Should be Farby by a mile. So I don't think that we want Tarmogoyf. We want we want a thought seize, we want interaction, or we want land. So I'm gonna, I'm actually just gonna bobble myself one more time. If there's not a land on top of my deck, then I'm gonna just traverse for a basic. We're just going to traverse for a basic. And then we'll draw two more. We draw the land, and we drew a street race. So we're going to be able to play Death Shadow next time. All right. Here it is. It's time, it's time to check out the goods. This is where I play against my big brother, and he tosses me in a nuggie, and we find out like if little brother's up, if little brother's a bitch or not. Thanks for my Death Shadow. Gives me Delirium. What a combo. Yeah, we have four card types, so we'll traverse. Four. So I could just 
traverse for Grimflare and then play Grimflare next turn when we have uh, Stub back up, which I like better than just jamming it. We can hopefully like push a Bob or something like that. Pushing a Bob would be sweet. I do like me some Bob pushing. Or, or push my opponent's Grimflare. Yeah, we're going to stub this. Get our four spike on. Okay, I've got another one. Which is sad. <clears throat> so now we're pretty much out of gas. My opponent takes my stub. Let's do my grim fire, okay. Threat? God, we're good at this game. Storm opponent just had 15 storm. That is a lot of storm. Oh, I can't stub that. <laughs> wow, we are we are ripping good here. This is where you whip out your D and show him who's better. <laughs> I'm working on it, dude. I'm trying. I'm trying to a triple sleeve door scores. Yeah, we're going to let this happen because I can at least beat through these Lingering Souls as we stand. And I don't want to, like, put my stub down. Now I can figure out if I'm supposed to stub the second half of it or not. So neither of these matter. So I am going to stub the second half of my opponent's Lingering Souls. Just hope they draw, like, shit the rest of the game. So I was talking with people about this when I was playing this matchup. And, like, legitimately, how this matchup goes, it's all about, like, I draw better than they do. And that's how I win. If I don't draw better than they do, I don't win. Just pray to God they didn't top deck a removal spell. Because, like, you just hope the 18 land deck draws better than the, I don't know, the 24, 22 land deck. Something like that. We're going to leave that in our hand. Conceal a little information. My opponent draws Lingering Souls, and I'm just going to puke. I'm going to get my attack in first. I don't think they have anything really of relevance in their hand. Because they would just pulse anything, so we're just going to wait. Or if I, like, respond, they just respond and, uh, whatever, they just kill it with the thoughts he's on the stack, and then we just take two damage for no reason. That's vomit-inducing. Sack my homeboy. They have land, okay. And this is where we like we can't win. We just no longer can win this game. Opponent draw something good, put me out of my misery. Alright, I'll, I'll play around for a removal spell. But if my opponent gets a shot in with that Grim Flare, it's game over. Oh, our big brother. We started uh, so we started so well. We just beat up on him. And then he hit that Liliana. So this matchup gets better for us after sideboard. <laughs> More than them. But it, I would say that um, like like our grindy elements, the best way to fight Lingering Souls is with Lingering Souls. We don't want any of these. And we want to cut... Oh, not a Bloodstained Mire. We just cut a... We bring in our... Where's our Godless Shrine? Godless Shrine's already in the deck. What matchups do you draw wires against and win? What do you mean wires? Hmm. 
There's Squaw Chief. All right, this hand's not very good, but like the worst thing you can do in this matchup is mulligan. It's just all about attrition. So I'm going to play this land, play a bobble, and pass on my opponent's turn. Get our scry on. We don't need that. I'm going to get low enough in life total. I think I'm going to have this one in play tapped. Okay. Might get punished for putting that into play tapped. So let's just hope our opponent doesn't have like a discard spell. Because they just play a two drop and then we get to edict their two drop. God, this is what dreams are made of. So this here, we're going to get another overgrown tomb. We get our veil, edict them, play this bobble, crack the bobble on their turn. If our opponent plays their own veil, then we probably discard like our fatal push or something. I should've done that in the upkeep, just see what they drew. They have another Liliana coming. I kind of want to go Souls and Death Shadow next turn. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ditch this Pulse. Ooh. All right. Um, still going to go Souls and Death Shadow. But I don't think I'm going to tick my Liliana up. Oh, that was a stupid land to play. They ditched their Liliana we knew about. Yeah, that was stupid, because now we could, like, hit this Liliana and kill it, but we went, like, full moron. We play a wild wood, which is annoying. It's not a bad draw, so let's check out what they've got. Want to hit, like, an abrupt decay or something like that. Okay. Hit this Rhino. Tick down. Get ourselves a Tarmogoyf. And they just have a land in place. So we're only going to attack this Liliana with one spirit. Oh, I should have. That was so stupid. I should have ticked up, hit their land. Oh, my God. We are just asking for it tonight. Just would have gone like Liliana, play it. Tick this one up. My Liliana would be two and could eat it something. Yeah, we can. That 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 was that was a super punch. So that's a card they knew about. Damnation on one. Okay, they hit the tarmac too. Okay. I'll ditch this. Flash my souls back. Tick up. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, they didn't fire up any creatures. Okay. 
Oh, they want to play defense with this. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be punting a cube. So what's going on here? What? How are we winning? So we can attack these with two. We can roll this down. Definitely cost you match. Yeah, let's roll this down. Maybe we'll hit a lingering souls. It's wild, but it's annoying. We'll get Tarmogoyf. Plagoyf. Attack Liliana with two of our spirit. They eat one, and then we'll tick this up and discard a card. Ugh. Yeah, opponent, you get you get to eat one of these. Slogging. The way that my deck's built, it's slightly it's not quite as good. So my opponent's definitely drawing like garbage. Yeah, I'm going to sack this spirit if they... Sack this. Cycle this, draw a card, find something good. Okay, that's pretty good. So now I'm going to attack Liliana. And they probably throw a man land under it, maybe? This definitely seems like a shambling vent block. Like a pr pretty straightforward vent block. We got our homeboy. No, I think I sacked my Tarmogoyf. Because I would like to be able to attack at least my opponent with this Liliana. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this. Or with this Grim Flare. Just hope my opponent doesn't have a removal spell. They have a removal spell. God. That's so bad. Should attack with Shambling Man. Oh, that was so bad. Come on. And now the game's just over. Yeah, we're going to go to the next match. We're going to win our last two, then cube drafts. That's what we're going to do here. Ugh. And that's just like the benefit of Abzan. You just don't need, like, you're going to beat up on the smaller creature decks. So on the smaller, like... You know, you just play your cards, and yeah, we'll key off. If I win these last two, we'll, we'll get in there with a cube draft. All right, we'll ship this. We will keep this. Put this on the bottom. We'll pass. Playing against Titan Shift? Yeah. Alright, I mean, that means we're going to get to play a Death Shadow here. So let's go get Watery Grave. Check out what our opponent's got going on. Alright, so we're just gonna take the escape shift. They have all the ramp they're gonna need. Could be affinity, sure. Sure, my friend. Alright, 
We need to not draw any more of those. We're weak. Our hand's pretty weak to a Primeval Titan. Our deck's pretty weak to the Primeval Titan because we don't play uh, whatever it is anymore. We don't play Terminate. Yeah, that's both searches. That's a pretty good draw. So I guess we'll get Breeding Pool. And then do we just play this Liliana tick up and lose to... Because they're going to get a land. We would lose to, like... Land coming into play... Do both of these have two counters on it? Like, what, what's going on here? One. So we would lose. If we tick up, our opponent keeps the Primeval Titan. Land comes. They'd have to draw a land, an untapped land, and do it. So, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to tick this out. This is a... A no, uh, no coward stream here. We're going to keep this just in case we hit Team or Battle Rage. This is, like, too far off. And it's going to give us two more points next turn. Okay, they ditched a Steve. Oh, no way. Come on. What the fuck is this? When it enters the battlefield or leaves the battlefield, it deals six damage to target creature. And I just ditched my death shadow. My oh my god! <laughs> what is this? Okay, so he smokes my shadow. We play a Tarmogoyf. And once again, we can handle everything but Escape Shift. But a Primeval Titan. Oh, actually, we can't even because we don't have... There's not We don't have Delirium. Alright, that gives us Delirium. I should look at this now. Sweltering Suns. I guess I'm gonna look. All right, opponents landing out. Now we can take up Liliana, ditch that thought seize. And we need Team or Battle Rage off the top. It's not quite Team or Battle Rage. My opponent draws Lightning Bolt. I think if they bolt, they bolt Liliana, they die. God. So now we just have to hope no Primeval Titan. Oh, I should have... Oh, wow, he hit Liliana with that? I should have stubbed that for sure. Because now I can live through a Titan. Oh my gosh. I wasn't thinking about my opponent just tossed me the game. I guess I can't necessarily live through... Oh, we got that one. This matchup only gets better off sideboard. Like we bring in two, two um, disdainful strokes, one stubborn denial, and then two collective brutalities. Yes, opponent did toss. We did not catch.
Keep those. And we'll keep this hand. That's the finest breeding pool next turn. Sports metaphor is only going so far in MTG. Yeah. All right, let's check out. So I have Delirium on one, which means our Grim Flare next turn is going to be huge. Grimflare's nice against Steve. Yeah, we want that too. Pretty good set of draws there. Yeah, I guess we'll sandbag the Street Wraith. Yes, we're just going to take a Titan because we have an answer to the Scape Shift. I wonder if I should stub. Nah, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's so rude. That's super rude. All right, still going to go get... So we have a breeding pool and play Grim Flare because, like, he can just completely wreck this Tarmogoyf. at least gets me like some action which we need to find a way to interact with this titan my opponent must have one more land or they would have packed for steve probably Well, there's our answer to Primeval Titan. So they can't draw, they can't plug Cast Titan next turn. I probably could pack for Steve here. Then we're going to get. Eight, six looks a turn. Wow, these Grim Flares have just been solid. All right, we'll keep the Thought Seas. We'll mill this to give us delirium. And then like we'll disdainful stroke the, the primeval titan here. Untap, thought sees something while being able to stub something. Yeah, sports metaphors, they do only go, you are right about that. We take Summoner's Pact, because we'll just stop the scape shift. I 
I don't think any of this matters. I guess I should have kept. I should keep a land in case my opponent plays a Primeval Titan next turn. So let's go like this, and then keep this on top. So then we can edict it. Okay. Got him. All right, let's get our last match in there, then we'll jump into a vintage cube. Like it's 2-2. Two -two. This is our fourth. In our ten matches, this is the fourth guy that's we've played that's been 2-2. Two -two. Oh, this hand's not very good. But it's got Grim Flare to feel me with Delirium. Three quarters away Delirium. I'm going to keep his hand because I'm on the play. I usually don't like doing this, but I think this card's good enough. We have a redraw and like a scry. This card's half a preordain for, you know, for, like, less than half of the mana. I can keep that on top as well. Stub and cantrip. I love stub and cantrips. There are a few things that make me happier in Magic. Oh, man, there's going to be no cantrip here. There's no cantrip off the Windswept Heath deck. Okay. We're playing... We have a whole different animal here. Oh, I'm going to get this... Breeding Pool tapped. And still going to play the Grim Flare. It's going to make it so it's difficult for my opponent to attack. Because Death Shadow can just get larger than this Grim Flare. I tend to win this matchup as long as my opponent doesn't get, like, a way to have evasion. Let's check out what our opponent's got going on. So now I'm just going to play Tower of This card is annoying, though. And I might just, like... Oh, wow. No way. That's what he drew. That's so gross. And he's got protection for creatures. We just don't have an out to this. Like, they top deck the one card that, like... We need, like, an abrupt... Get. He kids and block. It doesn't attack. Oh, my God. So now our line here is to traverse, hold priority, stub it to get Delirium, then get a Death Shadow into play. It didn't give me the option. It always gives me the option. Ugh. It always... Oh, man. That's probably my fault. Most of the time it just says okay, and I can go find the Death Shadow. Ugh. Ugh. 
All right, so I like this. And I like the pulse, and that's like kind of it. And I'll just board out two fatal pushes. And then we'll run it back. I like the dismember because it allows like explosive draws with Death Shadow. <clears throat> I would like to play first. And we've got, like, so this hand's not that bad against Leyline because we have a Pulse, and that's usually enough. And we have a Death Shadow. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to bobble myself. I'm going to make sure that I can cast this Liliana, this Maelstrom Pulse on three. Okay. So we kind of got our opponent to mold a five with how our hand's working. Though this Liliana is kind of a mulligan now. But we also can just pulse Inquisition. So we don't want that. So let's go get Breeding Pool, Traverse for a Swamp. We also can just Maelstrom Pulse the Ley Line if we need to. Okay, so that means we get to play our homeboy next turn. Don't have a creature. Are you kidding me? You mold a six and you have a creature and a ley line? What shenanigans? Should have fetched. Alright, let me check out my top card. My top card's good. I'll play Tarmogoyf if it's not. It's not good. I still think I'll play Tarmogoyf. Get Blood Crypt. Okay. So now I just kind of want to pulse this and attack. Because if I let him untap with this, it's just going to wreck my life. So I think I have to do, like, the adult decision, however bad this feels. And then play, like, Death Shadow, <coughs> Tick Up. Right, Totem Armor and Griff Spoon. That's a sick draw. So now we just attack. Oh, pass. I'm not going to play Liliana and tick up. We're going we're gonna to stub this. Daybreak Coronet. Just like we drew it up. And now both our creatures are lethal. I'm going to have to restart Moto here before we... Before we get into our cube draft, which is going on next. There. Um, um, I like again, we're not going to change anything, we're just going to hope that we can get under our opponent. Um, 
I'm going to need to mulligan this. My opponent kept seven, and we're going to need to be more explosive, because I assume they got a ley line and a creature. Yeah, and now we're dead. We have a right. We have a rage. We need, like, a... If we find a land... Yeah, we... Just about cube time, baby. No ley line. Come on. Okay. Wow, we're going to have delirium too? They have a forest coming. Yeah, we're just gonna take this path. We actually have a chance. If we draw, we want to draw a another land for sure. Okay, so now we can. Oh wow, we might win this game. They play their bogle. So now we just traverse for fetch land. <clears throat> and just hope that our opponent does not top deck on us one time. We have a couple kills here next turn. Like if we draw if we draw a street wraith, a traverse. Street Wraith doesn't quite do it. What we need is a Traverse. Oh my god, no way! We literally get all the way there. We, on the Mold of Four, like we get the Death Shadow down and we can win. And that happens, so sad. All right, let's toss up the cube draft and we can get my video going here.